I think this is the first time my dad's ever heard me recite poems <laughs> at the White House. Jeez. This is called Mom's Belonging. I have lost my origin story. She is buried six feet under America's soil, wrapped in white. No nation state can define her now, and I no longer remember for whom, what, why I was fighting for. I had asked her once, how do you say vote in Bangla? My mother's tongue paused and replied with, vote, thickly adding H's after consonants and rounding vowels long, as Bengalis were known to do. So that I double-taked, almost believing her words were authentically Bangla, before realizing I had been tricked, and I guess so had she. How would she have known? Democracy had always chased her, escaped her, the Bangla word for voting, as foreign to her as it was for me. 1947, partition drove my nana out from Kolkata in the newly formed India into Dhaka of the newly formed East Pakistan. 1956, in the midst of the Bengali language movement where language rebels of East Pakistan fought against Urdu dominant oppressors, my mother was born. Her birth certificate and eyewitness testimony of her coming to life. 1971, as a teen, she escaped Lahore, Pakistan with the clothes on her back on the first flight back to Dhaka, eventually trading her Pakistani passport in for one of the newly minted nation of Bangladesh. 1978, her Bangladeshi passport was stamped with an American spouse visa for the husband she hardly knew and carrying me in her belly and anchor baby along for the ride. November 21st, 1986, I waved an American flag as she recited the Pledge of Allegiance at the ceremony my mother holding in her hand her certificate of naturalization, a citizen of a nation state she had finally become. 1988, I went with her to the polls as she voted for the first time possibly ever. 1998, she took the 18-year-old version of me, her first eligible offspring to the polls to vote for the first time ever. 2011, her death certificate. Under the race category listed, Asian, Muslim which, given her history, seemed appropriately misappropriated somehow. Her transnational identity was uncategorizable. I keep her stack of documents safe still, as if they still mean something. Passports from three countries, birth, immigration, naturalization, and death certificates. In these papers are her roots of uprooted civic belonging. To vote means to have ownership of a home. But did she know the legacy she swore into? The battles that were fought here too? 1923's Bhagat Singh Thin Supreme Court case, 1946's Loose Seller Act, 1964's Civil Rights Act, 1965's Immigration Act, 1965's Voting Rights Act, and of course, the 2001 Patriot Act, the one that undid them all, the one that made her perpetually a second class citizen. Where does one even belong? When moving borders hold the power to define and citizenship evades transnational, transhistorical identities. In this second class reality, where is your ability to be? I have lost my origin story and it is her I am fighting for. Thank you.